friends, Jenny D here, and today I'm gonna teach you how to make a, a bard, a floppy muffin, a floppy muffin bard hat. This kind of hat, you know, the one the bards all wear. This is an extremely quick project. You can make one of these in about 15 minutes, so uh, this will be a short video. You will need fabric for the body of your hat. You only need about a 20 to 25 inch square, so feel free to use scrap for this. As for the kind of fabric, you have a lot of flexibility here. Personally, I'm using just like a lining fabric. These kind of hats would also be cool in like a velvet. If you use a heavier fabric, it might gather differently and have more body on top of your head. It is entirely up to you. For the hat band, I used a very thick satin ribbon. This is, I think, a two and a half inch. You could also use any fabric you like. You just need to cut a strip of it. You will also need whatever kind of decorations you want to put on your hat. I used two feathers and like a fancy button. This is optional, you don't have to decorate it. Some of these hats have no decoration. And then of course you will also need a sewing machine, matching thread, scissors, an iron, you know, sewing stuff. Start by measuring your head at the point where you want the hat to sit. I feel like in general, you wanna have it sit kind of low in the back and then higher in the front. Looks like for me that's about 22 inches. If you don't have a measuring tape, by the way, you can do this with string. Just mark the end and then measure the length of string with a ruler. Life hacks. But these are like $2, so you should get one. That measurement is going to be the length of your hat band, but you should also add about an inch for a seam allowance. So in my case, my hat band will be 23 inches, and that is the length that I will cut of my ribbon. Next, we are gonna basically cut a big circle. If you have a smallish head, around 20 inches is a good baseline. I have a little head. If you have a big head, you might wanna do a little bigger, like maybe 24 or 26. Basically, the larger the diameter, the poofier and floppier your hat will be, so if you want an extra poofy, extra floppy hat, then go ahead and just add some inches on there. There are a few different ways to cut a circle out of fabric. In general, the more times you fold it, the more symmetrical it will be. I would recommend folding it at least twice, so into quarters, measuring 50% of your diameter along each side and marking that. If you really do wanna keep this like a quick 15 minute project, just don't worry about it, just wing it, just use your eyeballs. Next, you're gonna sew a basting stitch around the entire outside of that circle and gather it. If you've never done this before, it is super easy. Just increase the length of your stitch on your sewing machine to the maximum length, and then pull on one of those loose threads in order to gather the fabric. If you wanna be extra cautious, you can sew two parallel basting stitches and gather both of them. This will be really convenient if you snap one of the threads, which can happen if your seam is very long or if you're using a fabric that's pretty heavy. Next, you're gonna fold your hat band in half and press it. The iron is the universally underrated sewing tool. Everything that you make will get better if if you learn how to use your iron and you use it regularly. Stepping off my soapbox now. Now you're gonna pin the binding to your gathered circle. You may need to adjust the gather as you pin it to make sure that the gather is even all the way around and that the circle fits the length of the hat band. Make sure that you pin it so that that half an inch on either end overlaps a little bit because that is where we are going to sew the hat band together. Next, you're gonna flip the hat band around. Basically, you want your raw edges on the inside from that seam that you just sewed to be tucked underneath the hat band edge. The goal is that once you have sewn down the hat band, there will be no visible raw edges on the inside of the hat. You can pin it if you want. You don't have to. I'm not your supervisor. Now, from the outside of the hat, you are just gonna top stitch all the way around to anchor the hat band. Top stitch, that bitch. You have two options here. You can use a thread color that matches your hat band and sew through the hat band, or you can use a thread color that matches the hat body and sew just over top of the hat band. At this point, you should also flip the entire hat inside out and sew the hat band closed. It's a hat now, you should be able to put it on your head. All that's left now is to hand sew whatever embellishments you choose onto the hat. Ta-da, you're done. You have crafted a plus one hat of charisma. Now go forth and inspire your fellows. Damn, this is stylish, why did these go out of fashion? Oh, by the way, you can all stop asking about when the Centaur of Attention tutorial and art book is going to go on public sale. The Kickstarter rewards have finally been completed and you can now purchase this absolutely glorious book in my shop. I will put a link in the description. Uh... This book contains the incredible art of Hannah Alexander as well as my comprehensive tutorial on how to build a walking centaur costume. Just in case you too want the internet to call you a weird horse girl. Now you can stop emailing me about this. 